Money and the Law of Attraction provides a more in-depth discussion of how to attract wealth, health, and overall happiness. It focuses on the importance of pivoting your thoughts from negative to positive ones not only for the areas that require change in your life, but all of your thoughts. Abraham, the non-physical entity that narrates the book, emphasizes that there are two sides to every story one positive side and one negative side. It is important to learn how to view the positive side to every situation. He notes that in order to attract goodness in your life, you must feel good. Feeling good keeps you in line with your source spirit, who you really are. Good thoughts attract good thoughts attract good thoughts. And all of this attracts good energy. So it is important that you do and think thoughts that will cause you to feel good all the time. I really don't think I fully comprehended the law of attraction until I read this book. When I read Ask and It Is Given, I worked on trying to change my negative thoughts to positive ones only on the areas of my life that needed improvement. From this book, I realize how important pivoting, thinking only positive thoughts throughout my day, on every subject and situation I come across, will attract the abundance and happiness that I'm looking for in my life. I've read the book only a week ago, and already, I've noticed results. A close friend of mine commented that I seem to be a much happier person, and this is only after a week. Some doors that were previously closed are opening up in my life. I'm feeling so much more confident about myself and the goodness that continues to come my way. I've always thought with the self-help books that it's important to not only discuss how great the book is, but also discuss some of the results. Results are really what people want to see when they invest in a self-help book. Below are some of the manifestations that I noticed a day or so after I started implementing pivoting into my life. Results 1. I start some side consulting and already have interested clients. 2. I am making significant headway on a small personal goal that required action from others. I thought my success with this goal was out of my hands, but now I see that I'm bringing forth the attraction that is making things happen to my benefit. 3. I've been trying to open doors to an opportunity for almost a year, and then last week, a couple of days after reading this book and implementing its lessons, I received a phone call that has changed my life. For every day, I look forward to the wonderful gifts I'm receiving and all it takes is just making sure that I feel good. What I have done to attract some of these positive things. 1. Before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning, I speak my positive affirmations that I will make it my priority to feel good. 2. In the mornings, and sometimes in the evenings before I go to bed, I write down all of my happy thoughts, great things that are happening in my life. 3. Throughout the day, I play the number one process game, discussed and ask and it is given but I forget the name of the game, where I focus on things in my immediate environment that pleases me. Example, I love the color of that blouse. It reminds me of the color of the dress I wore to my first high school dance. Wasn't that dance the most fun? Etc. 4. When bad thoughts pop up, I tell myself that's not in line with who I am and I think about something uplifting. 5. I work on some of the other processes discussed and ask and it is given. 6. I constantly tell myself that I have a gift of thinking good thoughts and bringing happiness into my life. Once you start implementing the teachings in this book, it really begins to become second nature. And then start noticing the blessings coming forth. I highly recommend this book.